All right, Alex, look. This is how you push the deadlift, okay? Step under the bar, do it there, sit up, back flat, okay? Pull. All right? All right. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I can. I have an easier way to do it. All right, let yeah. me see this. Mine's better. Yeah, it's way easier. Oh, uh, uh, I like this way looks easier. Definitely. You All right, fine. Try it that way. Then. Then. All right, let me try. Let me try. Oh my back. The intervertebral disc is composed of the annulus fibrosus and the nucleus pulposus, and is in between the vertebral bodies. The annulus fibrosus consists of 15 to 25 layers of fibrous bundles, and is modeled using the layers of green construction paper. The layers are thicker in the lateral and inner layers of the annulus fibrosus. The annulus fibrosus functions to maintain the nucleus pulposus in the center of the ring, and does not have much compressive strength. Without the nucleus pulposus at the center of the ring, the annulus fibrosus would collapse under any weight. The nucleus pulposus is composed of a clear gelatinous substance that makes up 50% of the total disc volume, and is modeled using the orange jello at the center of the green construction paper annulus fibrosus ring. The nucleus pulposus has a very high water content, which allows it to support its load-bearing capability. Disc herniation begins when the disc nucleus begins to push on the annular fibrosis. This will begin to cause pain in the back. As the vertebrae here compress on the disc, the nucleus can cause the outer ring to bulge or can even push all the way through the outer ring. This causes pressure on the spinal cord and nerve roots around the spinal cord. Additionally, the material that is pushed through the disc releases chemical irritants, which increase inflammation of the nerves. All right, so for lumbar disc herniation, typical populations, the highest prevalence is among people aged 30 to 50 years old, and this could be due to a variety of reasons from the degenerative process of aging to just the common activities associated with being of that age. And additionally, males are two, two, two times more likely. Again, this could be a lifestyle factor, and in aged people 25 to 55, about 95% of herniated discs occur at the L4, L5 level and the L5, S1 level. And as we get older, disc herniation above this region is much more common in those older than age 55. When we look at common mechanisms of injury for lumbar disc herniation, one of the most common and frequent is improper loading especially while lifting heavy objects and when you use your upper and lower back muscles, especially your erector spinae, instead of using your legs as a propulsive force. And additionally, this commonly occurs when you twist and turn while you lift an object, and most of the time this is just a way to maneuver whatever you're lifting and get it to where it needs to be. And then when we look at a lot of the literature, we have found that being overweight puts a lot of additional stress on the lumbar region and this increases your risk for a herniation and then simply just the general degeneration of aging can speed up this process as we know when you are born you have the most fluid in your intervertebral discs than at any other point and as we grow older day by day it just lessens and lessens and then even smoking can speed this process up because as our lungs have less oxygen to deliver to our blood, this can just increase your risk. And then another common mechanism of injury is staying seated for long periods of time. And this is especially true for truck drivers and even the vibration of the engine, engine can increase the risk factor and even staying seated for long periods of time in between class. And I think this is a testament for you all to get up and move. There are several signs and symptoms that are associated with a herniated disc. The back pain experienced can either be intermittent or continuous, and actions such as moving, coughing, and sneezing can make this pain worse. The pain is most often described as searing, sharp, electric, radiating, or piercing. If the pain starts in the back or buttocks region and then travels down the leg and into the calf or foot, this may be a sign that this individual has sciatica. Foot drop is another symptom associated with a herniated disc. This can be identified by an individual who has difficulty lifting the foot when walking or standing on the ball of their foot. 
there are four distinct stages of lumbar disc herniation. The first is disc degeneration, as the nucleus pulposus pushes into the annulus fibrosus. Then, prolapse occurs, as the annulus fibrosus is pushed outwards. Extrusion is when the nucleus pulposus breaks through the outer ring of the annulus fibrosus. And sequestration is when the nucleus pulposus migrates into the spinal canal, pushing against the nerves. Stage 1 and 2 are considered an incomplete herniation, while stage 3 and 4 are complete herniations. There are a couple of important non-surgical treatments for lumbar disc herniation. Most importantly, rest is necessary to allow the herniated disc to heal. Secondly, as you can see from our first video, lumbar disc herniation often occurs due to improper body mechanics. So education on proper mechanics is necessary for healing to occur and to prevent re-injury. To reduce pressure and swelling in the area, anti-inflammatories and deep tissue massages are helpful. Lastly, core strengthening is important to reduce pressure placed on the lumbar spine. If a patient doesn't heal with 6 to 12 months of non-surgical treatment, surgery may be necessary. Also, if a neuro neurologic deficit, numbness, or loss of function arises as a result of the herniation, surgery is recommended immediately. Surgery for a lumbar disc herniation is a microdiscectomy, where the portion of the disc that impinges on the nerve is removed. Some interesting and fun facts about lumbar disc herniation. Those experiencing a herniated disc will actually benefit from exercise, specifically strengthening the back and the abdomen. Dogs can even herniate their lumbar disc, and if you're curious, chihuahuas are at the highest risk. And celebrities who have herniated a disc, Tiger Woods, Tony Romo, Peyton Manning, Harrison Ford, and even Jackie Chan. I think you did it wrong last time, you need to round your back more. Oh, yeah, yeah, just watch me. Okay. Oh, it's the same. Wow. See? I still don't know I, that. I'm gonna show you right there. You okay. saw what happened to him last time. All right. No, I think show me, a, show me a proper guy. Alright, alright. All right. See, look at that. No back pain. <laughs> nice. 